guys today we're going to be taking a look at another piece of edc gear and today we're talking about the trayvax summit wallet and this one of course as the as the title says this has the armor plate so this uh, extra piece of steel here in front is in the called the armor plate the actual wallet itself is this piece of metal here with the black strap running in front so that's the basics to this wallet as always guys before we dig into this please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe and let's dig into this i'm not gonna be breaking into this thing too much because obviously there's a lot of sensitive information in here and you guys can kind of see some stuff you know this is my uh uaf id so if we're going about with the uaf you have to have a pretty much an id for that place so anyways that's what's in front and then just a card in the back but like i was saying today we're going to be talking about this nice little wallet and kind of explaining why i went over to this wallet from my original what i used to carry a lot was the uh, recycled firefighter uh i think it's called the sergeant but it's a slim wallet and basically it has a similar principle to the summit it's basically designed to only hold cards no cash and uh <clears throat> i generally like this setup because day in day out while i will if i know i need some i will generally carry a handful a few hundred dollars in cash if i really think i'll need it but generally my day in day out work I don't really carry any cash because I don't really buy much but what I do actually need is I need things like driver's license once again UAF IDs different uh, different identifications for different places that I go and so that's primarily what I use <clears throat> what I primarily use a wallet for is to hold all of my identification cards that I need to go to different places or once again to operate vehicles stuff like that so I don't generally have a high necessity to have cash on me especially nowadays that cards do so much work and in all honesty i buy most of my stuff online so i really don't use cards day in day out to buy stuff in person or point of sale so once again having a, a system or a wallet like this is a little bit more relevant for my lifestyle now of course everyone's lifestyle will differ uh, but this is just my lifestyle and how i ended up coming to the trayvax wallet now one of the biggest reasons why i ended up going to the trayvax over the recycled firefighter wallet was that <clears throat> i actually loved that wallet for a very long time but one continued issue i was having was that <clears throat> because it uses a material fabric that fabric just like any fabric can get trained and what had happened was I carry about 12 cards on me or <clears throat> sometimes up to 14 cards on me and what would happen is that that wallet the sergeant by recycle firefighter got trained to hold 12 cards so it would hold 12 cards really really well but if i wanted to take cards out and carry say eight cards uh what would actually happen is that the tension on the wallet would no longer be there and all the cards would just pour out so once you removed like one or two cards everything else would just dump out of the wallet and I really disliked that. Now it took about a year and a half for that to happen or for the, for the fabric to become that way. But overall, the reason why I ended up switching over to the Trayvax was because this has, and you guys can kind of see here, uh, it has a nylon strap or a nylon webbing strap. And that nylon webbing strap is what sets the tone for your cards so it pretty much means this is how many cards you can carry this is how much tension the wallet will have and what i like about this system is because you can actually set the tension of your wallet as you remove or add cards to the wallet you can have a consistently strong tension to the overall end product and once again you don't have to worry about that weird stretching kind of effect because this nylon here will likely stretch too but as it stretches you can pull it tight through this system on the back so i really do like that in addition the other thing i disliked about the recycled firefighter wallet was the fact of rfid protection i'm not saying that i once again run around with lots and lots of money uh, on credit cards or debit cards um, so i need it absolutely Absolutely, but it is really nice to have and being that this is a full steel wallet it uses chromoly steel uh, it is completely RFID proof so <clears throat> you can't really so when you run around with a with a wallet like this you don't really have to worry about RFID chip readers uh, trying to get into your cards get information without you knowing 
So those are the two biggest advantages, I will say. Uh, and that's basically the entire wallet. Now, once again, I do have the optional upgrade here to the armor plate. And so this thing you see in the front, which I will attempt to pull out for you guys um, here. If I can get it out. So I'm not going to get it all the way out because it's a little bit of a bear to get in and out. But this right here is the armor plate. So you guys can see it sliding up here. This is obviously my ID here. So this is the armor plate. And the armor plate is not a standard option on the Trayback Summit. And so this is an addition you can add on. And this gives the uh, wallet a complete RFID proofing because you have steel on both sides or you would have steel on both sides of your wallet. So so completely RFID protected and in addition not to say that I'm particularly going to use it but it does also come you guys can kind of see right around here there's a bottle opener function on this uh, armor plate so that adds an extra level of usability but primarily what I like about the uh, armor plate is two things one that RFID protection and then one thing I found that I kind of dislike about this wallet is as you guys will notice here uh, right here this is how your cards get held into the wallet so these two kind of stick ups this right here and this right here are the only things protecting your cards from sliding just completely wherever they want and one thing I noticed was without the armor plate because plastic is so bendable though the black strap here might be holding pressure on your cards they have a tendency to pop over this black piece here and kind of lag out or kind of lazy their way out of the uh, actual wallet and so what I liked about the armor plate was is because that uh, armor plate is a piece of steel and not a piece of plastic there's very little to no bend in this armor plate at all so it helps add that rigid um, <clears throat> that rigid point that forces all your cards to stay within the confines of these two black spaces here and so that was something that I did like about the armor plate and kind of a flaw that I noticed in the Trayback Summit um, so aside from that the only other uh, real negative I have on the Trayvac Summit and this is kind of an everyday carry once again lifestyle choice I carry this in my back pocket one of my two back pockets and I've noticed especially uh, when I'm doing a lot of laying down or when I'm sitting in a more reclined state uh, the wallet has a tendency because this is steel there's very very there's practically no bend to this wallet at all it does not give or move around at all or it doesn't like flex at all so you guys might have noticed if you guys watched my uh, sergeant uh, what is it uh, recycle firefighter sergeant uh, slim wallet video where I was showing that the wallet was pretty rigid but it was still flexible this thing is absolutely rigid there is no flex in its body whatsoever so when you sit on this thing it is pretty slim in fairness so it's not too bad but uh, there's no play in it whatsoever so occasionally I would notice I would kind of have to adjust it around in my back pocket because you could really feel it sitting down now once again I haven't noticed this too much but uh, I do definitely notice a handful of times but once again this wallet is so small that I carry this in the well like I said back pocket of my Carhartt pants so there's enough room in the Carhartt pants that I can kind of shift it over to a spot where it is less painful another thing I noticed was you guys will notice I don't really know what this is for here but it seems that there's kind of like a lanyard hole up here I don't know if you want to add like a chain to your wallet or whatever maybe it's an anti-theft chain kind of adding and in that in that right it might be righteous but I've noticed that it's a thin piece of metal that sticks out and uh, it can really hurt you and so that was another thing I noticed to just watch out for when sitting on this wallet is just be mindful of that thin metal protrusion that can dig into you if you are sit down on it wrong so those are the downsides to the wallet. Like I was saying though, overall I really like it. It is a very minimalist wallet. I've been a really big fan for the past about three years. Ever since I started carrying the Columbia wallet that Ashley now carries, I've really gotten into minimalist wallets that carry very little just cards. Because like I was saying, in my personal lifestyle, I really don't use cash that much and most of the things I buy are online. So I don't really find myself going to a point of saying 
fail and needing to use my credit or debit card uh, at all. So overall, what I primarily carry a wallet for is to have IDs on me. So, you know, drivers, uh, <clears throat> different state IDs, uh, different college IDs, just the different uh, types of IDs that I need to have to go to places and do certain things. So that's the primary reason I carry this around and I really really enjoy this setup and once again I think what why I really or why I really ended up liking this wallet more than the recycled firefighter was because that over time this will not wear out will not wear out and it won't be trained to a certain deck of cards so once again now that my uh, recycled firefighter wallet is trained to 12 cards there's really no carrying eight cards there's really no carrying six cards I can carry 12 or more cards but I have to be careful about carrying more than 12 cards because of course I could train the fabric to now only accept 14 or 16 cards and so that's another issue that I noticed with it to so look at the whole fact that this does have multi-purpose functions to it like the bottle opener so that is a nice feature to it as well but overall I really like the summit it's a very minimalistic setup and with the armor plate I think the armor plate really completes it so if you do look at this definitely take a look at the armor plate uh, option for it because it's not that much more but it really helps add that kind of second level of rigidity that you need to the wallet to help it be a more functional and capable piece. Guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.